mate, you just, you would not believe that unless you were here, mate. Love you, mum. <laughs> Robbo's, you know, glasses are so smashed up with the farm maintenance and everyday life, mate. So he hasn't really been wearing them. So last night, Chucky's uh, weren't locked up. So went to check on them without my goggles, mate. And, uh, well, there was a cold bit of metal. Ah, uh, ah, you're still there. Good on you. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, ladies. Yeah. I don't know, mate, but they move quick. But yeah, Robbo's blind faith led him straight to the carpet python. So, nice, cold, juicy feeling and uh, thermal trade and uh well i get away without being bitten lovely uh, now i should probably leave the area because i know they disappear and i don't want to tread on her twice in the morning thank you everyone Under the car, hey? All right, ladies. First time out back to the jungle in the daylight with this rooster. Where are you going? Strawberries. No wonder I can't grow a strawberry. Where else? This is, well, T-Rex or R1, R2. My last two dinosaurs from all the eagle action. And yep, to their chicken garden. It's like their house train, mate. They know where to go. What you got? Baby cane toad. Some lucina. And tomatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Oof. These lucinas need another chop. So, I don't know, just the daily mantras, I suppose, and past memories, which help keep me here. And, uh, well, what do we got on the island? Some cones of joy. That's a bit of kahunas, nuts. Bunyas. Oh, hey, Notch, mate. Good morning. <laughs> We're recovering mother hen from stepping on that python. The foot still feels it. Hey. Notch, what are we doing? Where's Bubba Roo? Oh, are you eating the Madagascar bean, are you? Is that why it's coming all over the place? All right. Uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll come back later. Maintain the kitchen. <clears throat> Notch. 
This is the fermentation room for the Kitty Winkles. Mate, I feel like you guys have me under house arrest. You know, between Skippy and Jurassic Park, mate. How am I supposed to, uh, you know, get out there peacefully? Well, I need to uh, come up with another option for breakfast. Here we go. Dragging the chain a little bit. Oh, mate. Ah. Oh. Out. I got to battle thorns for breakfast, mate. And uh, some stingers. F fresh fruit. Oh, don't, 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 mate. Don't. I'm being kept gentle. Oh, the flowers. All right. And maybe one down here. Bracky. Oh, mate. I love it. Anything hand grown, mate. Oh. How about them carbon miles? These red ones look like maybe a Port Jackson shark egg for those coastal folk. Check out that power, mate. All about to bloom. Just waiting for maybe the moon. This one's a bit too seedy for maybe someone who likes a mango. So, <laughs> good old uh, meat cleaver. You know, I'd say blue swimmer. Mud crabs are well made. You know, good for something, mate. Look at the, how big that is. So, fellas, this little bit, important for your little bit. That's what they say. So you got to respect all avenues. So, you know, you only need one snake in your grass. And then uh, there you have your little, you know, cloister. And uh, cast iron fragments, good for micronutrients. Thanks ladies. Mm, breakfast bowl. Maybe it's a soup mix of um, some well, corny, mate. Arnott's, mate. <laughs> That's a dark night, isn't it? Thank you again. Mate, where's those little lines? Hmm. Who wore it better? Watermelon festival leftover. Robo's entry. Most unusual. And uh, yeah, easiest way to plant seeds. <clears throat> Off limits, ladies. Thank you. Pop, mate, your birthday's coming up and local artist at Royal Wood Reserve, mate. Well, you know, teach a man to fish. And I wonder what Pop would say if he could See the mullet I've caught this day. <laughs> oh, beautiful.